Heat um, already made jig. Heat all part of the jig hook. You got glass water angling. And they make lead free jig hooks. I'm going to use one of these. Perfect hook for this block. that hair back and I'm going to tie in a grizzly hackle. Now this is a hackle, a saddle hackle. It don't matter if it's a dry fly hackle or a wet fly hackle. I prefer the dry fly hackle because they're longer and they'll do this streamer where soft hackle wouldn't wrap as long far so I, I don't think it makes a difference. still adds a lot of um, movement to this streamer. Tie in that uh, hackle um, with tip first. Kind of like the way it, it flares if you tie it in tip first. And I like to tie it a lot of tip balls down the to the shaft to the hook so that it's tied down good so it don't pull out later. And then you run your thread to the eye of the hook, and then I spin the white marabou and then make it into like a, a noodle, then wrap it up for like Chanel. Then run the hackle up like you're ribbing it, or using dry fly, but up to the front of the tie them both off. Kick off of the white SOB, add them some hackle. That's basically the white SOB with some hackle at it. Nikki's then kind of grizzly. I use brown grizzly. I have these old saddle hackles that are too big to make dry flies out of them. They work great for streams. So use up some of yours and tie up some of these. Go check out Glasswater Angry, link below. Let's see if he can help you hook you up with some hooks like this. They're a pretty cool hook. They're not as heavy as tungsten, so they're lighter than lead and tungsten. They give you like a midway point for weight. I have some with tungsten, I have some with these, and you got different weights. Alright, you guys, have a good day. Thank you for watching videos. Keep your lines wet. 
out of the tree and only give them fish a sore lip. Upper, up, 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 up.